Hey everybody, welcome to the card of the day. Uh, again, using my before deck and my regular uh, rider weight deck, I uh, chose the death card today. Ooh, the card that scares everybody. When in reality, it does not mean death at all. It means the end of stagnation. And as I look at the before deck over here, um, they simply had death walking through the cemetery. When we, so it's almost like he's on his way. They are sort of treating it like it is death, I think. And then when we get over to this card, here's what's very interesting about the details of this card. There's so much going on. If you're familiar with tarot, you know these are the tower cards back here. Two tower cards. Tower cards are usually about destruction, about getting rid of and rebuilding. The sun is coming up, that path there, which means the sun always comes up. There's always another day coming. Um, these four characters are actually the baby from the sun card, the uh, uh, emperor, the strength lady, and the hierophant. And these represent four different ways of approaching death. The uh, emperor has just flat out given up. The baby looks up to it as we should, like, oh, what's the next you know what's the next cycle the strength card turns away complete denial and the hero fan is begging for uh, redemption or forgiveness or another chance whatever it is but these are all sort of representing the death of the ego the death of desire those things that we want that we just are so anxious and we got to have them and we got to control it uh, again, I'm going back to this great book I'm reading called Atomic Habits, where we want everything now. We want, we got to do it. We want it. It's got to happen. Even though this card is the end of stagnation, I want you to know that does not mean everything moving as fast as it can. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what the uh, turtle said in the turtle and the hare. That's exactly what we're going for here. Small moves forward. Do not move, lose your faith with small moves forward. Slow and steady moves me ahead. That's it, slow and steady moves me ahead. I feel so anxious in this year and I know that five planets are retrograde and they're driving me bananas because that is everything. Every appointment I go to make, it's the week after. Every time I wanna tape a podcast, it's well, I can't do it this week. Everything, it's like I have to surrender to this anxiousness and just remember, slow and steady moves me along. Just keep going, folks, uh, just keep going. All right, slow and steady moves me along.